Hi guys and welcome back to Fit With T. I hope you guys are good. But today we're going to be talking about triple extension and I got this video idea from at no doubt 5465. So thank you for the video idea. If you guys have any video topics that you'd like me to touch on, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section and I'll have a look. And if I can make a video about it, I will most definitely do so. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear the wind, but I want to apologize in advance of this video. It's extremely windy today. So this is the best place I can find to record for today. Triple extension. What is it and how does it relate to sprinting? When it comes to sport in general, this is a term that you may have heard. What it's referring to is the extension at the hip, knee and ankle joint. So simultaneously okay so extension is basically when the angle of a joint opens up you're increasing the angle between body parts right so if we're talking about the hip it's where your thighs and your belly your thighs and your torso are moving further away so that is hip extension when we're talking knee we're talking where the calf and <laughs> we're talking where the calf and hamstring are moving further away that is knee extension and when we're talking ankle extension when we're actually talking plantar flexion so it's kind of opposite because this is dorsiflexion plantar flexion plantar flexion is where you're extending at the ankle right where the top of the foot is moving further away from the shin triple extension is where those three joints are extending at the same time so you'll hear this in sport in general but when it comes to sprinting the place you're most likely going to see this is going to be at the start the first two three steps right where you explode out of the blocks and you get into that full extension of the hip knee and the ankle right if you watch this video you remember that our ground contact time decreases the further we get through our race the faster we're moving the less time we're going to spend on the ground if you're going to fully extend at all three joints then you're going to spend longer on the ground if that makes sense even though we do extend at those joints when we are sprinting at top speed when we are in our max velocities running we don't quite get to that full full the same full extension that we get at the start of the race right so when you're in your upright running you want to be tall in the hips but we don't necessarily fully extend when we push down if that makes sense or when we land the start is where you're going to really be thinking about triple extension the most when you're in your upright running triple extension is not necessarily the thought process that you, you want to have right you don't want to spend loads of time on the ground in order to get that plant affection of the ankle it more comes from having ankle stiffness and being more reactive off of the ground but when it comes to extension of these three joints it's not always something you're thinking about you know at the same time however it's something you definitely do want to think about particularly the hips right because a lot of times when you're new to sprinting the tendency is to kind of sit to be in like a sitting position when you're in that sitting position it's very hard to extend at the knee so if you do start thinking about extending from the hip extending from the knee from early on in training this is going to be something that's going to be beneficial when it comes to the start of your race and also as you progress into that upright running where you're able to really hit your acceleration positions correctly and then also really produce a lot of force in your upright running and spend less time on the ground because you have a stiffer leg even when it comes to drills thinking about extending at your hips is something you want to think about i've got a number of videos on my channel now about drills and i speak often about staying tall open up the hip so for example if you're doing a skip trying to think about extending off of every step rather than being in a sitting down position rather than being in a sitting down position whichever one you do and if you don't know why i'm doing two versions then make sure you check out this video whatever drills you're doing thinking about extending at your hips thinking about extending at your knee getting the most of every stride producing the most force that you can on each step right but if you are finding it difficult to get that triple extension to think about extending at all three joints at the same time you know producing that movement i'm literally doing this <laughs> If you're finding it hard to really produce that position where you're able to extend at all three joints at the same time, then what I want to do is give you guys some drills, exercises that you can use to help you get used to that movement, to help you get used to triple extending, right? Just as a disclaimer, this is not going to be everything you could do ever, but I'm going to give you a few ideas because I found that a lot of people do find it difficult, for example, to stay open with the hip, open with the knee, and let's say extend up the ankle. And I've got a whole video about jumping exercises, plyometrics, so check out this video if you haven't seen it. So the first one I'm gonna say is straight leg box jumps, okay? And why this is good is because you're trying to land on the box with straight legs, you're trying to land up and onto the box with a straight leg, you have to fully extend to get air time, okay? You have to fully extend to get air time, and because you're trying to land with a straight leg, you have to extend up the hip, extend at the knee and then extend at the ankle as you push off of the floor isn't it so that's practicing triple extension so straight leg box jumps you can do that both double legs and with single legs as well and of course you can vary the height so the better you get at producing force the better you get at being able to bend and extend at all three joints and produce more force 
in that way you're going to be able to jump higher so another thing i will say is actually olympic lifts so one of the reasons that olympic lifts are so popular when it comes to sprint training in the first place is because of that triple extension so for example when you think about doing a snatch or even a clean pull let's say the clean pull which is one of the first the first movement for us power clean right so the pull you have to extend from the ground you have to come all the way up and you have to extend at the hip knee and ankle so it's a good way to practice triple extending mostly it's going to relate to like i said the first few steps in the, in the race right but you want to try to maximize every part of your race anyway isn't it so olympic lifting so power cleans hand cleans clean pulls all of these kind of things okay so another thing you can try and use to practice that triple extension is actually med ball throws okay and so like i said a lot of the things that i'm saying are very relevant to the first step second step because it's just that one big push the time that you're spending on the ground you'll spend the longest on the ground at the start of the race and so it's going to be more relevant to the start of the race right so something like med ball throws okay and this can be med ball throws where you're going from your chest and you push forward and do one step or even like for example med ball overhead throws where you're throwing the ball up and you have to explode up into the air and again you're extending at the hip the knee and the ankle as you produce that force off of the ground so these are actually really good ways to practice triple extension to get used to the feeling of extending at the hip knee and ankle all at the same time in a very explosive way and then when it comes to actually actually being in for example the acceleration position and practicing fully extending that's where things like wall drills and also resisted running come into play and are very very useful and i happen to have videos about both of those so if you haven't checked out this video or this video i encourage you to check those out next and i'll see you guys on another friday bye guys